Hello viewers. Uh, welcome to my channel. Hello viewers. 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 Hello
are a direct result of the high blood pressure in the portal vein, you know, and uh, this condition is called portal hypertension. And uh, it causes blood to build up in nearby blood vessels, you know, including those in your esophagus, you know. And the veins uh, begin to dilate and swell as a result of the increased blood flow, you know. And uh, cirrhosis is the most common cause of the portal hypertension. And uh, cirrhosis is a severe uh, like uh, scarring of the liver that often develops due to the, uh, excessive alcohol consumption or the serious infections such as hepatitis, you know. And another potential cause of the portal hypertension is portal vein thrombosis, you know, and a condition that uh, occurs when the blood clots inside the portal vein, you know. And in some cases, uh, the cause of the portal hypertension is unknown. And this is uh, referred to as the idiopathic portal hypertension, you know. Now the next thing is uh, uh, risk factors. Well, the esophageal varices are more likely to bleed if you have the large esophageal varices, you know. And uh, red marks on the esophageal varices as seen on the light, uh, like uh, uh, lighted, uh, uh, like uh, stomach scope, you know, endoscopy, you know and the portal hypertension and the severe cirrhosis, you know, and the bacterial infection or excessive uh, like alcohol use, you know, or uh, constipation and uh, severe uh, coughing uh, bouts, you know. And uh, you should speak to your doctor uh, about your risk of developing the esophageal varices, especially if you have the family history, you know. Next thing is, how do the doctors diagnose it? You know, to diagnose the esophageal varices, your doctor will perform the physical examination. He will ask the questions about the history of this condition or is there any family history of this disease, you know. And then he will uh, order the tests like the blood tests uh, used to evaluate like the blood cell counts and the liver and the kidney function tests, you know. Endoscopy is another test, you know. So during this procedure, a small lighted uh, camera scope is inserted into the mouth and used to uh, look down the esophagus, you know. Uh, into the stomach and uh, into the uh, uh, into the beginning of the small intestine, you know, and uh, it's used to look more closely at uh, dilated veins and organs, you know, and it can also be used to uh, take tissue samples and treat the bleeding, you know, and the imaging tests like CT scan, MRI, they are also helpful uh, to find any kind to evaluate, you know. Uh, the next thing is. Uh, uh, what's diagnosed then what are the treatment options well you know the main goal of the treatment is to prevent the esophageal varices from rupturing and bleeding you know and uh, uh, controlling the portal hypertension is uh, usually the first step in lowering the risk of bleeding and uh, this may be uh, achieved through the use of uh, the treatments like beta blockers you know or uh, uh, endoscopic uh, uh, sprotherapy, you know, uh, which means using an endoscope and your doctor will inject a medication into your swollen veins that will shrink them, you know. And uh, uh, endoscopic uh, variceal ligation or bending, you know. So what means is that your doctor will use an endoscope uh, to tie off the swollen veins in your esophagus uh, with an elastic band so they cannot bleed, you know and uh, they will remove the bands after few days. And uh, you may need the additional treatments if your esophageal varices or uh, have already ruptured, you know. And, uh, you know, the endoscopic variceal ligation and the endoscopic uh, sclerotherapy are generally preventive treatments. And, uh, uh, however, your doctor can use them if your esophageal varices have uh, already begun to bleed you know and uh, a medication called uh, like uh, octreotoid may also be used as well and this drug uh, will lower the pressure in the swollen veins uh, by like uh, tightening the blood vessels and uh, reducing the blood flow you know and uh, uh, you know the, uh, the other one this uh, trans uh, jugular uh, intra hepatic a portosystemic shunt is another procedure, you know, uh, a potential treatment option, you know, uh, for like uh, recurrent bleeding, esophageal varices, you know, 
and uh, this is a procedure that uh, uses an x-ray uh, to guide the placement of the device that uh, creates the new connections between the two blood vessels in your liver you know and uh, a small tube is used to connect the portal vein with the hepatic vein and the hepatic vein transports the blood from the liver to the heart you know and this connection creates uh, like a diversion for the blood flow and uh, a distal uh, supplenorenal shunt procedure is another option you know uh, but it is more invasive and uh, uh, this is a surgical procedure and it connects the main vein uh, from the spleen uh, to the vein of the left kidney you know so this controls the bleeding from esophageal varices you know in 90% of the people you know uh, and in rare cases the liver transplant may be necessary you know and uh, the bleeding will continue to occur if uh, the condition is not treated promptly you know and uh, after you receive the treatment for the bleeding esophageal varices you uh, must attend the regular follow-up appointments to make sure that treatment is successful you know uh, well the best way to prevent this condition is to correct the underlying cause and if you have the liver disease uh, consider the preventive measures to reduce your risk of developing like eat healthy diet or uh, stop drinking stop smoking uh, lower your risk of uh, hepatitis for uh, predict, uh, like uh, practice the safe sex etc you know so don't share the needles or razors and white kind of uh, contact with the blood and other bodily fluids from the infected people you know so this way you can uh, reduce the risk of getting this condition. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseaseandtreatment.com uh, and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more information. Thank you. Goodbye.